I've heard so many times, no, 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 don't combine those fruits. No, 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 don't combine that fruit with that vegetable. We can get so confused with so many theories, so many formulas of how to combine fruits and vegetables. I get so many questions every single day. Should I combine this with this? Honestly, what I've learned throughout the years is to listen to my own body. Every body is gonna be different. Some people are gonna be very sensitive to food combining, other people are not gonna be sensitive. So today I'm gonna give you the food groups of recommended ways Ways you can combine fruits and vegetables. I have a table right here of how to combine your fruits and vegetables and you can obtain one by simply subscribing to my website ravana.com. So let's start. First, it's watermelon. I didn't have a watermelon, but I have this plate right here. And watermelons and melons are known to be best eaten by themselves. I have found that melons and watermelon do combine well with acid fruit. So here we have the second group. In acid fruit, we have grapefruit, oranges, mandarins, cherry tomatoes, tomatoes, lime, lemon, strawberries, pineapple. This is gonna be acid fruit that is gonna combine well with melons. The next group is the sub acid fruit group. So here we have papaya, pears, apples, mangoes can either be sweet or neutral. And these are gonna combine well with acid fruit and sweet fruit, which is our next group. In sweet fruit, you have bananas, dates, all dried fruits, persimmons. Sweet fruit are gonna combine well with neutral fruit, but in theory, do not combine well with acid fruit. Now we have starches and grains, which is sweet potato, corn, peas, potatoes, quinoa, rice. These are gonna combine well with each other. Starches and grains will most likely not combine well with fruit, but I find that, for example, tomatoes, which is an acid fruit, combines well with starches and grains. Now we have proteins and fats. And since this is a vegan version of how to combine fruits and vegetables, it's gonna be a bit different than other combinations of fruits and vegetables. Because, for example, beans are a legume, which could go in the grains and starches side Section, but I put it in the protein section. All nuts, chia seeds, hemp seeds, lentils, which are also very high in protein, avocado, tahini, coconut, all of that is fat. That's gonna combine well. So proteins and fats combine well. And these are gonna combine well with starches and grains. And now we go to our last group, which is leafy greens and vegetables. You will find all leafy greens here, romaine, kale, spinach, cucumber, carrots, broccoli, all vegetables are essentially going to combine well with fruits, all types of fruits except melons and watermelon, and also with starches and grains and fats and protein. So these are seven food groups of a recommendation of how you can combine fruits and vegetables. But as I said, the best way is just to try it for yourself and see what works and what doesn't. We are doing a seven day vegan challenge for the holidays to lose weight, feel good, have energy, take care of ourselves and the planet. If you wanna participate in this challenge and in the iPhone 7 Hero 5 and app giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to my website, robbana.com. Okay, you guys, so if you like this video, please let me know in the comments below and like it if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe here to my channel if you have not subscribed. I upload weekly videos. You can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, all at Ravana. You can also subscribe to ravana.com. I'm working on a new ebook, which I am so excited about, and you will receive your free food combining chart there. Love you guys so much. Send you all a big hug, love, and blessings, and I'll see you in the next video, okay? Bye.